Okay, so um, here is my sketchbook. I think this is the third. So here it is. It's red. And we got a hard jewelry sticker right here. Hard jewelry is a great brand. And then on the back, we have Dread Pirates Prockwell. That's a brand that my uncles made, but like made nothing of it. Um, but we still have some of the stuff, so it's pretty cool. And then more hard jewelry stickers. I don't know if you guys can even read this, but I started it um, on August 14th of 2022 and finished it on January 4th of 2023. I have not looked at this in like months. So this was gonna be like the first cover page, but I just never finished it. But it's still pretty cute. Then we have, these are like post-it notes. I don't know why I did that, but it's a painting of Andrew Garfield and then just some random dude color pencil with like paint in the background. Oh, over here is a plan for a painting that I did. Um, I don't think I ever finished the painting. I'm pretty sure I have it. I'll insert a video here, but um, I don't really know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So at this time I was having like constant nosebleeds and I'd take a picture every time. I was like, you know what, wait, let me just paint this. Cause this is like a moment in my life. I want to capture this. So I took this one picture of me with a nosebleed and then I was like, let me do it in all red and with like a black background. I'm probably gonna like redo it or at least finish it because it's actually a pretty cool idea. I like it. Um, and then I wrote notes to myself as I do for like everything. I wrote, need to look more menacing. And this was on um, August 17th. Over here is my drawing teacher, Mr. C. I like painted half of it. I don't really know what I was doing. Like the sketchbook's kind of mid, not gonna lie. But here's a drawing of me and an airsoft gun. I swear it's just an airsoft gun. So like, don't, don't get mad. Cause trust, I don't really like guns either. And then just a picture that I had of my friends and I. And then here are my eyes. I like drew it with um, like a gray highlighter and then I wanted to add color pencil. So that's what I did um, to like make the eyes pop. And then just a drawing with like a red background, nothing much. Oh, this is so ugly. I'm literally skipping it. I was just doodling. Again, never finished these. You'll see like there's a common theme that I did not finish most of these drawings, but just stuff I saw on Pinterest or TikTok or something. And then here we have the plan for a drawing that I did. This is something that I literally wrote from Pinterest. So like, don't give me credit or anything, but it's like a guy with body dysmorphia. Um, and then the notes I wrote to myself were quick sketch of the grid project. Oh yeah, this was a project for school. And then like we gridded it out. Um, desaturate the man a bit, make the light glow, make sure the perspective is right. Oh, and here, I don't remember what I was gonna do, but I remember I had like a cool idea. So like I drew a rib cage, but I, I do not remember what I was gonna do. This is gonna be like those things where like you color in the grid and it makes a picture, but guess what? I never finished it. Um, over here is, oh yeah, we had to do like 30 superhero foreshortening things. Same thing here. Did some skeleton work, I suppose. Oh, this is actually, this one's good. That one's rough. <laughs> I think I did it in class because these are like cut out. Yeah, definitely did. More stuff. <laughs> this one's so bad. Oh, also like I've, I've lost my voice. So that's why I sound like this. Um, here is, again, something I saw off Pinterest, but I thought it was so cool. It's like, so this, you can see the eyes like slowly shutting. And then over here is like the perspective of someone going into surgery and like it slowly gets more blurry. This is gonna be a painting of me and my friend, but guess what, never finished it. I also did it in the dark, so that's why the colors are kind of funky. Here, <laughs> more foreshortening stuff. Um, also, what was there? oh yeah, this is a new camera. I've had it for a bit, but I'm like actually using it now and trying to figure out how to work it. So let me know what you think. 
just doodling with purple. That year is good. Fred and George Weasley, because I always rewatch the Harry Potter movies during the fall. Here's my little castle. So cute, so cute. Oh, there we go. There's the castle. It's really cool. It's got like the whole layout. But yeah, there's that. I also have the full Lego set. Like, y'all don't get it. I was so obsessed. Oh, but then my sister had like this scratch out book and I thought these were cool. So I stole them one day, scratched out some of that and then I drew a lion to match with Leo and a horse to match with Pegasus. Oh, I love this painting. I painted Harry Potter and Sirius Black, of course. And like, this was where I was like, wait, I actually kind of like painting. I want to try to get good at this. Oh, this is just doodling from my head. <laughs> Bootsing the house down. Yep, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, you know, you know. This is just cool, I guess, just doodles. Oh, I watched 10 Things I Hate About You. It was life-changing. I love that movie so much. Okay, so, um, my battery died. Just popped a new one in, so I don't really know where we were, but here we have 10 Things I Hate About You. Movie was life-changing, like, cannot rave about it enough. Could love me a early 2000s rom-com. <coughs> So here is Heath Ledger. I was just getting into oil, I mean acrylic painting, like they aren't the best. I know the colors are off. I know the blending and the, it's okay. I'm not gonna critique my art that much, but like we get it. We get it, I promise. Um, and then I like painted it. I mean, I drew it before in like blue pen so you can like kind of see the pens now, but there's that and then there's cat. Oh my gosh. Um, I was just like doodling and like just painting randomly But my idea was that I wanted to paint Dracula. So I wrote paint Dracula here Uh, 26 of September, I guess just just drawn from my head. I Am drawing eyes. I am guilty of being an artist, I guess. Oh Here was just like hatching characters because like I want to be able to make a character, I guess, because I always see that on TikTok. Um, I love this one so much. That's definitely my favorite. Oh, and then here is a um, a marker drawing of Marina's Lupin and Sirius Black smoking some cigs. But again, incomplete. Never finished, and that's okay. Oh. I drew this with like just, here, let me pull them out. I used these pens and I drew this. Um, I thought that was really cool. Like, got some greens in the skin. I think it turned out great, actually. Um, and then I painted this for my friend for her birthday. Um, just practicing some noses and whatever. These are my no, this is like my no reference. And these are with references, I guess. I was gonna paint something. And then here is me drawing a dude. I actually really love this, I love the flow. Shark, I think I was like planning out um, a club t-shirt design because our mascot is the sharks. And then this is Sandman, because there was like this show that came out on Netflix called The Sandman, and it was really, really good. And then I got like the graphic novel, even though I don't get graphic novels or comics or anything, just because the art was so good. And yeah, this is him. And then there are some like fairies that I like did on a separate sheet of paper and cut out and put them in. This is a man, a scary little goblin poltergeist thing. Did this around Halloween for, because I did it like actually as a, like a big project. I'll insert that here. Um, but here is this. The like the pustules turn out so good. This this just turned out good. 
I don't lie, I like this. And then we got this thing I drew on a note card in class, like my perspective. I was obsessed with doing this. I did this in like every class, every day. So, pasted that in. And you were due. Oh my gosh, I saw this thing on Pinterest. And it was this, like, you know when you feel like you're about to fall asleep and then you feel like you're falling? Like, this is that exact feeling and it's so good. And then just some eyes. I really like this spread. This is solid. Oh, portrait, I mean, project for surrealism. Um, my idea, like, made sense in my head, but, like, it actually didn't make any sense at all. Like... I was doing my laundry and I was like, wait, this would look kind of cool. So I took some 0.5 pictures of me like looking down <laughs> into the washing machine. And my idea was like, I wrote God looking down at his washing machine into earth. <laughs> um, maybe regal apparel, good lighting, stark contrast, the planet earth inside question mark. I don't know, but I ended up doing a very different project insert here but I kind of wish I did this so maybe I'll come back to that one day oh I went to camp and they make pictures I mean they make um posters for everyone because it's like a it's a Christian camp and all of them are like God related and then also like things that you like and so um <laughs> mine said God loves Alex more than Alex loves modern baseball which is like, they used to be my favorite band. They're still one of my favorite bands. Um, so this is a picture of me holding that poster that my mom took. And then in the back, I wrote the lyrics to one of my favorite songs by them. I think this is your graduation. Cute little drawing, love that, love that. I think I was gonna end up drawing something here, but I ended up not, so this is just blue. Over here we have fire again painting i like i like this i really like the sketchbook and all of the paintings um and then here was like an idea for a painting or a drawing or whatever or a couple ideas hand on chest emitting light like i don't know like the touch of someone that makes you just feel so warm and so happy i guess and i also i found a reference on pinterest that looked like this so i started drawing that Leaning, reaching out, don't really know what this was for, but yes, I did that. Oh, and then, and this is a picture of a person like laying down, reaching out, and I wrote, um, laying on the ground, reaching out, potentially things or people on top, laying them down. I don't know, I think I was thinking about making a portfolio about like depression and suicide, but then I was like, that's really depressing, and I don't want to spend so much time and all my thoughts on that so I decided to go with a different portfolio theme. Oh, I love this spread so much. It's just like graphite drawings, but I love them. Here were like some uh, anatomy like figure things and they just turned out so good. Like at this point in my sketchbook, I'm, I was really like I don't know, it was just good. And like, I love the, the layouts of things. I don't know. I'm just spiffed with this. This was gonna, <laughs> I say that and then I flipped here. But this was gonna be a drawing of something. I think like a bathtub, I don't know. This is just a drawing of a girl playing and listening to music. And I still love this drawing. It's just so cute. This is something I saw on Instagram. Back in like February of 2020, it says uh, just some dudes skating, film some skate stuff. Cause I was obsessed with skating for a while. Oh, and then here are some ideas for like, so we had to make a drawing based off of a song and I was making mine based off of Black by Pearl Jam. Some of the ideas were framed people happy with like swipes of black on top because I don't really remember like why but if you look at the lyrics to the song like these are all applicable um and then like a gold frame like a happy couple with like paint swipes of black if that makes any sense 
And then here, I did the quotes like, now the air tasted and breathed. Or now the air I tasted and breathed. So I was gonna do like someone with their tongue out, like kind of happy, like breathing and tasting in the air. And then there was this lyric that was like the five horizons. So I thought, what if I do a star in the background and made, made like each of the sections of the star a different landscape? So that's what I ended up doing. And I'll insert like a picture or a video here of that. Um, the background, like, so I did this basically. And then the background I made black, but I did it with colored pencil and like, it turned out a little funky, but I still really like that drawing. I forgot about it actually. And this was just like a different idea. Obsessed with this. We got, okay, also keep in mind, like all my stuff in my sketchbook are either like plans for um, for projects or it's just stuff that I ripped from, from Pinterest. So here's like a fisheye thing of a man drawn. And then I got watercolors and so I started doing watercolor. Like, I did a whole time lapse of like one of these eyes, or maybe all of them. So if you want to look at that, like I'll link it in the description. Definitely check it out because it's like it's a really cool to like see the process of watercolor. And then also like I just put some chill music in the background. So like if you want to listen while like you're studying or just see the process of painting and watercolor if you're like getting into it. But these turned out really well, I think, for my first time. I don't really like this one but I love this one. <laughs> and I did some hands. And then I was thinking about adding like, I don't know, like, so you know the thing, it's like where you have a red string around your pinky and you, you're like linked to someone else's red string on their pinky. I was thinking about doing this or just doing like strings to like represent some feeling. Um, this watercolor painting I never finished. I still have the time lapse of it, of what I have so far, so I wish I finished it, but I'm not gonna like go back and finish stuff in my sketchbooks. Some drawings, a skull. I love drawing skulls. Uh, go England, I guess this was around the time of the World Cup. Then we have my friend doing this thing from Black Adam, because we went to see Bones and all, but they wouldn't let us in, because... Because <coughs> we were all 16, and one of my friends like looked really young, I guess. So like they carded us, and they were like, you can't go see Bones and all, but you can see Black Adam if you want. So we went and we saw that and it was so bad, but it was really funny. Um, then we have a guy holding a gun and I don't know, just a cool perspective. We got colorful shoes. Yeah, but there's that, I love the colors. And then just an old man. I love this too. Oh, this is gonna, so I saw like this picture on TikTok, I think, or like Pinterest or something. Again, the same two places I get most of my sketchbook stuff from. Oh, by the way, you should check out my TikTok, like, if you haven't already, because that's where I post a ton of art stuff. I took a little hiatus, but I'm back, and I post stuff, like, more than once a week. I've been trying to do it every day, but I'll lead a busy life, you know me. <laughs> but, yeah, this was going to be on, like, religious trauma, and I was going to paint over it, but I didn't end up. But it's still, it's still that. Women, what can I say? Oh, okay. This is meant to be looked at upside down because it looks really bad right side up. But here, I just wanted to like, um, draw like wet hair. Like, I don't know. I just really wanted to draw wet hair. So I took this picture when I got out of the shower and then I made my nose like way too big, but that's okay. Um, and then here, I had to go to the hospital because I dislocated my knee and we thought that it, I might have torn something and maybe broke it or whatever, so I drew this while I was in the hospital. Or not, not at the out of a disposable camera lens, like, you know, this is what it looks like, so 
Oh, that was cute. And then this little boy, I did this with uh, alcohol markers, like Ohuhu markers. I painted the blue background. Oh, this I just wrote. I wanted to fill up the page because like I was almost done. And then so I just did this and like wrote what I got for Christmas. <laughs> um, oh, and then so basically, I'll show you this first, but here's a marker portrait. I mean, not portrait, oh my gosh, a marker landscape. Um, love the colors or whatever. I think I was doing so much marker because I got them for Christmas, but I had gone to see like a 3D movie, I think, or someone in my family had. So I took the, the glasses and I popped out the lenses and I put them in here not really knowing what I was doing with them, but then I was like, wait, this looks like an outlet. And this is the page right before this. So I wrote, unplug, go outside, enjoy the view. Cause like people are on their, t on their phones too much, like just go outside and you can like see the view through it. So I thought that was cool. Um, and then the back of it looked cool too. So I just kept it like this. And then I was just hanging out with my dad and we ended up going to the pier. So I drew some seagulls while we were at there. Just some beta fish. I was going to do something here, clearly, but I didn't. And then I was watching football with my dad, and uh, which I don't do because I don't like football, but it was an odd night and I decided to. And this football player like collapsed on the field. He had to get rushed off, like the game was canceled. I was like, oh my gosh. And so I ended up drawing him. His name was Damar Hamlin. Like, he lived, so that's really good. But that was pretty crazy. I'll start off with this. Um, my friend Lance was in my drawing class uh, last year, and he drew this for some reason, and I kept it because, I don't know. Here was going to be a, a color pencil drawing of, like, a dude backflipping off of a cliff like, cause I wanted to go out with on my sketchbook with a bang, but I was just getting an art block and like, I just stopped drawing. So I, I didn't finish it, but there's that. And then in here, I have this gum wrapper heart that someone gave me. Very cute, very cute. And then we also have this sticker from this guy named Shy High. Check him out. He's a great rapper. <coughs> I started listening to him right before he blew up on TikTok uh, with independent films. I love the sticker, I just haven't figured out like where to put it yet, so I'm just storing it in here for now. So yeah, that's the sketchbook. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you got some inspiration or just some general entertainment. I will hopefully be making more videos soon. I make no promises because like, my life is very hectic and I feel very overwhelmed, but I'm glad I could knock this out because this is long awaited. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think of the camera. Check out the other videos in the meantime, you know, before I post again. But here's this and uh, bye.